The verification black market is real. Many people think it's a scam, but only because they've been dealing with the people that don't actually know how it's done. So fam, during Elon's rocky Twitter takeover, it's been revealed to the public that some employees at Twitter were taking under the table payments for verifying users. Allegedly, some would even deny user applications for verification before hitting them up privately to verify them for payment. Upwards of $15,000 for verification, they're saying. But folks, let me be the first to tell you that the real cost is much cheaper. If you've been on the internet for longer than 10 minutes, then you know what social media is. Public figures on social media could get the highly coveted blue verification badge to let all other plebs know that they are among the elite. This caused many others to aspire to receive that honor as well, regardless of if they really should have it or not. And there were a handful of people out there that were happy to provide. First, let's quickly cover the actual requirements to get verified. You have to be a notable public figure, brand, or business entity with an adequate news coverage. Basically, you must, in Instagram's words, represent a well-known high highly searched for person, brand, or entity. But this has not stopped us from seeing verified accounts that don't truly meet any of that criteria, so there's obviously another way. If you're not a real celebrity or influencer, then there are only a couple other ways you can get verified. Option one is to hire a PR company. They will sign you for a number of months, drum up some press, and eventually submit you for verification. There's no guarantee to this method as you might be with a publicist who will string you along for a long time and a lot of money and you still They'll never get verified. Option two is to hire someone on the black market to get you verified. I use the term black market pretty loosely here. It's not nearly as sinister as it sounds. It basically just boils down to knowing someone that can get it done. And I mean, truly get it done. We all know there's a wild amount of scam accounts out there that bait users by promising them verification for a couple hundred dollars and never actually get someone verified. 10 out of 10 times, the person who can actually get you verified isn't gonna contact you via social media. You'll have to contact them off platform through a messaging app like WhatsApp, Telegram, or Skype. And much like the actual black market, you have no idea the quality of service you're going to get through this method. There's still a chance you might get burned. However, these people have reputations in their respective markets that they're eager to maintain. So making sure you're aligned with the credible providers will make all the difference in whether or not you're about to get scammed. And this method works best for artists or musicians, by the way, because of a fun little exploit. I'll touch on that later. Let's talk about pricing. The actual price for verification will depend on the platform. Instagram has historically been the most expensive, while Facebook and Twitter have been relatively cheap. TikTok is the most challenging to get at the moment as you have to have a direct contact to even be considered, and it helps tremendously if you're already verified on the other platforms first. The lowest price I've seen for verification was $1,500, and the highest price I've ever seen was $17,000, and that's per platform. The biggest determination on price really comes down to two things, how many additional press articles are needed and whether or not you were dealing with the middleman. The further away from the source of verification you are, the higher the price. There are people who will take advantage of their connections for getting verification and add a hefty fee to the overall cost. Having a direct line will always be the most cost efficient method. And to address this headline, I'll just let y'all know that anyone that charged $15,000 for Twitter verification was a middleman's middleman. Man. Might even be a third middleman in there. Either way, you were significantly overpaying. Now, a key part to this working is the press coverage you need. In a perfect world, you're going to want well over 15 press pieces from established media. Not every blog or outlet will make the cut. Bare minimum you'll need, though, for even a chance to get verified is five to seven. You've probably seen an ad somewhere claiming that you can get featured in Fox News, MSNBC, Forbes, and other media outlets for a reasonable fee. They're not lying. You certainly can. It's essentially a sponsored post or puff piece that describes who you are and how cool you must be to be featured on their outlet. You can either write it yourself or have the providers make up some flattering paragraphs for you. The more press pieces you need, the more you'll end up paying for. This isn't too far different from what your run-of-the-mill PR company does, by the way. You'd be shocked with how cheap it actually is to get certain press coverage, but I'll save that for another video. Next step is to build a Google Knowledge Panel for you. The 
easiest way to do this is by being a music artist, funny enough. Reason being is that once you have a couple songs distributed by streaming platforms, your name is now on Spotify, Apple, YouTube, Amazon, and other platforms that the Google search engine weighs pretty heavily in its algorithm. Combine that with all your new press articles and a fresh wiki page, then you're pretty much golden. Once you've got everything together, you'll then have your contacts submit directly to Insta, Facebook, or Twitter for you. They'll tell you they have a portal for submitting directly, much like how a PR company does, and from there, it's out of their hands. However, now it comes to the last push, and that's the insider. It shouldn't come as a shock to you that someone on the inside is taking payment to push your application through. I mean, Twitter pretty much headlined it this past week, but hey, whatever it takes to get that sweet, sweet blue check, am I right? And that's pretty much it. However, one of the inherent risks to this is if you're ever caught by the platforms, they'll remove your blue check and getting it back will be even harder as you're now on their naughty list. And of course, being scanned by bad actors. Overall, I don't recommend it. So if you're ready to pay for that sweet, sweet taste of verification, then you might as well get the cheapest verification of all time on Twitter. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the hell out of y'all for tuning into this one. I hope you enjoyed, learned something from it, and like, comment, subscribe to support the All Cap No Facts channel. And if you like the bangers in the back, show some love to the awesome producers who made it in the links below. Swifty out.